I'm really quite pissed off about that. All my data is just available there and they're just storing it. But why are you storing it? Why, you, why do you need it? Why do you need to show all of this? I don't understand. This is so bad. And I'm, I'm a bloke. I'm not a female, by the way. Team, I am so, so, so ridiculously, immensely hyped for this video. So if you are hyped as I am, and you can hear that I'm hyped and I'm never this excited, go hit the like and the subscribe and do whatever and say a comment about, yeah, man, I'm so hyped because, uh, yeah, that's a clickbait out of the way. I'm reversing React apps and this is insane. So if you know about me, I create a ton of Chrome extensions and a ton of automation and a ton of scripting and scraping and blah, 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 blah. Traditionally, you would start your journey learning how to scrape by going through all of the elements here, maybe pulling them out from the HTML and then doing some stuff and maybe you scroll down, get some pagination. Yeah, cool. Then you'll go into the network tab and be like, okay, so what have we got here? What can we check out? Hmm, map state, we like map state. Search results, even better, let's dip in. 500 search results, check out that, that's amazing. And then maybe you'll just spend some time copy pasting, maybe you'll recreate this put request to this certain thing and maybe you'll work out what combination of cookies unlocks blah 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 you need to do that also wicked third option which i have not seen anyone talk about yet it's um it's insane really is did you know that you can just go into any react app like literally any react app pull out all of the state all of the functions, all of the fucking everything, and uh, do what the fuck you want with it. You can hook into functions and you can monkey patch them and you can get them to ship all the data to somewhere else. So every time that network function is called, you can just have it piss off to a database somewhere or you can console log it or you can, I don't know what you can do with it because I'm midway through this and I'm just so hyped. Really, really, I'm, I'm, let me show you a demo. So if you saw the last video, I was talking about how maybe you want to find, I don't know, something to interact with, like on a map here, it's like a library and then like, I would like to zoom in or zoom out or move the, the viewport to somewhere else, fly around, do, do something, right? But um, yeah, you can do that very simply. And I thought that was cool. But the second bit, the cooler bit is that, you know, we can now go look at all of the data we want and just pull it out. So for example, if you were, where was that guy here? If we said, I'm pretty interested in finding this list of search results here, I actually, you know, I wouldn't mind having that. Hmm, what do we want? Let's take this guy. I wouldn't mind having <laughs> map results. Maybe I should go find out where they are in React State. I mean, like the first thing you can do is like, we could just dump this in here and it just recursively goes through all of the DOM elements and finds the the matching React uh, state on um, memoized state and props and then just prints it out. And in this case, there's like 4,800. So and then you'd just go through, maybe manually looks for some stuff. That looked tasty there. What was that? I've lost that. Or maybe you'll go like, oh, let's go map listing, map light box API key. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, maybe you would look for some stuff in there. Yeah, second part which is even cooler, we whip over to script number two. Let me just like, refresh this console. And um, we just do this. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. But do you remember we were looking for, what were we looking for? I don't remember. Hey, where are you? I'll zoom in and zoom out. And then it'll trigger that again, maybe. Come on. There we are, there he is, async. We were looking for search results, maybe this, maybe this, let's grab. Yeah, let's grab this. No, let's grab this map result. Well, that'll be a bit nicer. So we're just going to go in and we our uh, search criteria is we're looking for an object that has map results of true. Oh, it can do this, or you can go, you know, deeply nested, whatever you want to do. You might even be able to do that. I'm not sure how I built it, <laughs> honestly. But uh, we're just looking for um, an object that has map results of true, right? And then from there, we're just going to go through the whole of this next app, but it could be any sort of React app because it will work the same and we're going to find some stuff. What are we going to find? Well, we're going to find all of this, uh, the objects that have this key and then we're going to do some stuff with it. So right now, I am, uh, I'm just matching that object. And then, actually, let's just show you this. So boom, it runs, pow, it's done. And we found 32 matching objects. Let me zoom them out a bit. There we go. Map results, look at that. Zero, 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 98. Well, hey, and if we, uh, if we zoom out, can I zoom out, please? There we go and then run that again. Oh, 
Oh, now I got 500 results. Amazing. Something tells me 500 is a hard limit pagination, but um, yeah, you know that you have this now, right? Which is awesome. And actually, I want to say, yeah, it's all stored here. So in matching objects. So you can just recursively go through, find the one that you want, do some stuff with it and grab it out, which is wicked. Um, really, really absolutely sick. It's so good because you can, I'm trying to work out how to do it right now, but I know that you can also find functions on this as well. And one of those functions is going to be something like fetch map results or whatever. I stumbled across, <laughs> I stumbled across a very cool way of using this to look for storage. So let's go get some state. What do you think this does? We're looking for Zustan stores. I think it's Zustan. It could be anything, right? But let's go find some anyway. Hey, we've got some stores. Sick. What have we got on it? Okay, so we've got a dispatch. Okay, Redux stuff. Uh, a get state. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so three matching objects. It's not really a big deal. How about we... um. We say for each matching object, why don't we just go get that state? Why don't we just call it and see what happens? Oh, wow, well, look, we have the state. We have the fucking state of the app. Look at this state of this app. That's perfect. Um, we have a query state region. Look at all of this map bounds. I'm going on here, but can you see how incredibly sick this is and how if you're a Chrome extension developer or you're scraping or if you're doing anything, the world is now so open really really so open i mean like rent the profile i'm not logged in here so i don't know what's going on um i hope there's no <laughs> dodgy data about me being shown i'm gonna have to go through this and edit it but uh yeah really wow 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 i could i'm not going to i might oh, i don't know do i i could write a scraper that goes to google and just look through every bloody site ever and finds if it's react and then finds this and then pisses out like all of the data ever looks for Zustan stores or Redux stores or whatever and just just store it somewhere so then then I know that I can just go build on top of something I can just build and build and build and scrape and scrape and scrape and do whatever the fuck I want um <clears throat> yeah let's calm down a bit though I've got a second one for you it's also really good if your developer developers don't know about this and they're cutting some dodgy corners I mean let me show you this guys so I live here in Czech Republic, and this is Rolic. Rolic is where you would do to get your, or where, where you would go to get your shopping or go online delivery, right? And in Rolic, there, um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a ton. It's a very React heavy site, and it's kind of cool, and it's decent, and it's wicked because look, you can get all of the, I guess these are. I don't know, recipes, and that's wicked. Let's look. We have all the products amazing product IDs, the warehouse ID, <laughs> the fret. Okay, so you know, if I wanted to build a Chrome extension on this, then it could be pretty sick, yeah. Um, but actually, what I'm interested in is going in and finding user details. I wonder if I can just search for my name and see if it pops up. No, we're lucky because it's all hidden under here, but look, user info there. Hmm. It's going to show my address, isn't it? It shows my fucking address. It shows all of my fucking address. I'm going to have to block this out for fuck's sake. It stores. It shows me the closest store or what? It has my street. It has everything. What else does it have? User info. Feature flags. First time user, no. Full address. Is admin as authenticated. Is parents club. Premium. Yes. It has my fucking name. It has my email address. It has my tele fucking phone number. It has a literally like when my premium uh, subscription to this site, which will get you free delivery, is going to fucking end. It has literally everything. This it also says that I'm a female. <sighs> okay, so look. This is out there. This is so bad. This is really so, so, so bad. Luckily, 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 you can't do much damage if it's just your own data. But what if there's not, what if there's other data there? What if there's, I don't know, there might be some sort of API key in here. Maybe, I don't know. We can do a search for it later. There might be some stuff in here. Really insane. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we're going to chill. Anyway, so this is, um, 
This is a video. This is raw, unedited. Uh, okay, no, it's not bullshit. I have to cut out all of the stuff. I'm really kind of pissed off about that. All my data is just available there, and they're just storing it. But why are you storing it? Why? Are you, why do you need it? Why do you need to show all of this? I don't understand. This is so bad. And I'm I'm a bloke. I'm not a female, by the way. So um, yeah. Anyway, this uh, this is how you reverse any React app, and you can get at literally any state. My next thing is to start calling all the functions and doing stuff and kind of like interacting with the site and uh, you know eventually you can turn any site into an api like really if you try it enough and this is sick so anyway that's my rant over i'm going to um go back and do some work now peace